and uh, we were working on um, on uh, depositing and withdrawing. So we were going to withdraw first things first. We would go. We were going to withdraw five thousand from Lexus account, and um, and now we're going to use methods from uh, Lexus, the object that we created from uh, the account class that we called account two. So. I'll try to be very clear on what's going on here because uh, in the beginning I remember how confusing it all was, or still is. Um, so we have the account object 2 here and the account object 1 here. So we'll be taking 5000 from account 2 and put into account 1. This is basically what we're doing and how do we do that? Um, so to the right, it's so right over here, we have the account. So this is um, like the blueprint of what the um, account object uh, contains. Um, and uh, so here we have uh, not only, so this is information that they store, then they store a name and a balance. And we saw that in the earlier video with the two strings, what the two string gave back. Um, but they also have uh, methods to uh, manipulate these uh, variables, what these variables contain. Um, so actually they only have methods to manipulate what the, the, the balance uh, contains. So um, we cannot change the name. We can create it and then the name stays the same in, the, in this uh, type of account. We could have created it in a different way that we could actually change the name, but um, we cannot do this uh, in this case because it doesn't have that method. Um, okay, so but what it does have, uh, let's just let me just uh, circle around the meth methods that we have for it. Um, these are the methods that uh, we can be using, and um, so let's see. Now we should withdraw five thousand from a uh, Lexus account, and which one should we be using? So we have uh, we can choose, we can get the balance, which just returns what the balance is, and we can deposit, so plus something to the balance, and we could withdraw, take something, minus something from the balance. So, and it said um, withdraw. So we'll be using this method, and. Um, yeah, that's the one, that's the right one. So, that's the one we'll be using. And how do we use it? Um, it says, uh, first of all, it's a void, so it doesn't return anything, uh, which is good to know. And uh, second of all, it uh, takes in information, it takes in double amount. So, um, so how do we give it? So the information that we give it will be what is subtracted from the balance. So that, um, yeah, because it's balance minus amount. So balance equals balance minus amount. So let's give it some information and um, and let's run it first. Let's, so we have to run the method and then we have to give the method some information. So the way we uh, call a method and run a method, whatever you want to, we just write the name of the uh, object and this one is object. The Lexus account is called um, account two. So that's the object. So we do account two, and then I press the dot. It's just a dot, and then the computer, clever as it is, um, suggests what we can do. So we actually have some of the methods that we have created here that we can choose from, um, and some other things that I don't know what is yet. Uh, Java is a huge program, so. I'm just stupid, maybe ignorant, but any anyway, um, some of the methods we created ourselves, uh, some of the methods, get balance we created ourselves, deposit we created this ourselves, and um, withdraw. This is one we're going to use. Um, we created this ourselves as well. So we just choose that, and you just um, see you just press enter, and then it suggests that. Um, that we put something into it. 
so uh, it, it, it wants something, some piece of information. And what it wants is just how much money we are going to withdraw from it. And it should be a double. Um, why? In this case, we could just have used integers. I just realized that double maybe. But it, yeah, we could. Um, so if we withdraw 5,000, we could. We'll be working more with double, so it doesn't really matter that much. But just. And then I press dot zero, so I will withdraw thousand five thousand. So um, I'm just thinking about change Nick to uh, yeah, just to see that it works with decimal, so that just five thousand fifty, five thousand five fifty. I don't know. Let's just change it a bit, so um, just to see that it it actually works with decimals, because that's what it should be be doing. So now we're withdrawing a five thousand uh dollars and 50 cents from our account two which is a lexus account so and we want to put this money into a superman's account so we'll just do more or less the same thing with superman's account just call a different method that we have created and the other method was a deposit so the first one it gives on the list um deposit and just press enter and it asks, or it wants, uh, how much that we want to deposit. So we just deposit the same thing. A thousand dollars and fifty cents. And um, now we should... Um, let me just show you again what it says. It says, uh, print out the balances of both accounts. And um, this is what it says. It doesn't say print out the, the two-string. Um, this is print out the, the balances. So we don't have to call the two string. Um, we can just call the uh, method that gets the balance. And let me show you. Um, public double bill. It is this one. Get balance. And um, for both of the objects. So, um, so again, I just write. Um, account, let's just start with Superman, account 1 plus, this is the third one on the list, get balance, enter. And um, now, we could do this, but the computer wouldn't do anything about it because it's not told, told to print it or anything. So um, we should actually print it as well. Um, just for see what it says. Print out, yeah. So we also have to do print out. Um, let me find it. Get back. Yeah. So we could store this in a variable, a new variable, or we could just print it out. This whole method. I like the second one. Um, so now I'm just copying pasting um, like this, and it will print it out. Uh, the balance of uh, account one, and now we can just copy paste again. Control C, Control V, and rename this to uh, two. So, like this, it will print out um, the balance of account one, followed by the balance of account two. And let us just see that it actually works. Let us just test it. Um, yeah. So, and I press F six. And this is true. This is what it does. So let me zoom in, because, yeah. So, first account was um, Superman's account, and this is true. And the other one was Lex's account. So it's also true. This is this works. And maybe for the end here, for the last two or three minutes, we should go over what it it does. So. Um, so let me, yeah, because now we have um, the class separated on the screen. It makes it more easy to uh, understand, um, more intuitive. Uh, so account withdraw. So here we are calling the um, withdraw. So this one is being called. And the, ma the money, uh, 5,500, is being put into the information here. 
So that will be stored in the variable, the double variable amount, and it will be subtracted from the balance here. So balance equals balance minus amount. So now the the balance will um so this one, this side, yeah, will contain uh a less amount, uh, sorry, a less um money because it was itself what it what it contains was subtracted uh was um yeah the amount was being subtracted from what it contains and um let me see yeah i should actually explain that um when you have this kind of uh let me do like let me think what's the best way to explain it yeah let me do like this so um so we have the left side, so this side, which is green one now, um, green one, blue one, uh, purple one, yeah, purple. So this is the left side, and this is the side that actually gets the, um, how can we explain it? Um, yeah, explain like this. So... Um, it, it happens like this, that um, this, purple is the best one, take a blue one, more clear, this uh, balance minus amount, get rid of all that, I can only see that, balance minus amount is being calculated first, and then it's being stored in the same, so even if you have balance and then equals balance minus amount it actually computer actually calculates the right side first and then stores it in the variable on the left side and i might repeat this um if i find a better way to explain it um so because yeah but it should be clear like this i hope i have to see if i can find a better way to explain it right now i admit that it looks terribly confusing but um but so first this is calculated first just what happened what the hell happened well never mind and the video's over but um yeah i just realized my this is a bit difficult to explain but um i hope it makes kind of sense and with the rest i think this is is a clear that uh I just make like a, the next video is just a very small one. I just sum it up. Um, okay, so see you in the next video.